was the night before Christmas, and all through the studio, no one was sober, except for Antonio. Podcasts were rendering all through the night, and Shlomo would listen to make sure they sound right. Seamus was sorting through new merch galore. He turned to the camera and said, You could buy all of this from our store. Versace burst in ever so loudly. He sat in his seat and exclaimed so proudly, Christmas is only a sunrise away. Why do we have to record on this day? He's got a good point, Seamus did add. Even with COVID, the mall mobs are mad. I just got a gift for my girl. What, another coffee mug? <laughs> no. <laughs> Banksy, no! James, I'll happily answer your question. We do so to maintain audience retention. In, uh, English? <sighs> we do this for the love of each fan. That's why we film any special we can. Come on, guys, it's Christmas, and I know you all wanna. These dudes are always forgetting about Hanukkah. Antonio whipped out his outline, and the boys all sat. Even dear Scoob was quiet. How about that? Okay, everyone, hold on to your socks. It's time to record the next MMR Talks. Holiday special! Hello, and welcome back to your new favorite podcast, MMR Talks. I am your ho-ho host, Antonio Wakawelli, and joined today by a fantastic panel. Gents, introduce yourselves. Hello, hello, hello. It is your boy, DJ Famous Seamus, probably the most festive person in the entirety of the South Shore, if not the whole state of Massachusetts. I am James Askins, um, part of the Steel and Ass Sports Radio podcast. Um, yeah, um, also pretty festive too. But maybe not fe- as festive as Seamus, apparently. But no, you're looking at the most festive guy right here. I wear this hat every year, every December for at least three weeks, two or three weeks. Yeah, it's the hat. True. You know, we'll get the into best the... part though is uh, this year I can match the hoodie with the hat. I will yeah, say, I will say that was the, the first merch. thing I noticed, and uh, of course, it's Mass Music merch. If you don't have a holiday sweater, get a Mass Music sweater. It's the most festive thing you can buy. Yeah, you can see right over Seamus' shoulder, there's like 20 different colors. So. Exactly. Check it out. You can buy one of these at a store. Exactly. But it's Antonio, like, yes, the holidays. Yes, it is the holidays. It is currently uh, December, the, the 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 month with like some of the best holidays. Yes, like all the you know all the really and it's a, it's a good way to end the year. A great way. In my, it just kind of rambling off. So, guys, I'm going to ask everyone, um, um, what do we love most about the holidays? Because you know, there's <laughs> what is there not? I, I will say, um, because this past weekend I spent at my mother's house and she already has the Christmas tree up and everything. And immediately, I think what draws me into the Christmas spirit is the lights. Christmas lights, oh, both like indoor, outdoor. Yeah. It's something about seeing that where you're like, okay, like even if there's not snow on the ground, I still know that Santa Claus is approaching and he's going to be dropping some gifts very soon. So that's I a, think that's, a, that's probably one of my favorites, definitely. That's a really good point. Like, I can't, like, because we're from, you know, Massachusetts, like, we're from New England. I really can't fathom, like, the holidays in, like, Arizona. Oh, or, no. Like, yeah, like Louisiana. Like, if you guys are from there, feel free to let us know how you guys celebrate the holidays on there. But it to us, it makes sense because you know we're we're in a four season state. We get all four seasons. We get mm-hmm. the we get the snow eventually. Oh, it yeah. was supposed to snow yesterday. It but... gets real dark out here too. So seeing the lights lighting up the neighborhood. Yeah, it's a beautiful. Thing. I was just gonna say. Normally, I mean, I'm very indifferent about snow, but I feel like in December, I'm like, you know what? I'll allow it. I'll let it happen. So snow and lights are definitely some of my favorite things. What about you guys? I like um, everything about the holidays. Uh, holidays, holiday cheer, um, <laughs> you know, packed malls, seeing old family members that you've, you've been avoiding all year. Holidays are spectacular. We're gonna man. have to do that now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Going twenty, yeah, you know, get the hell away from me. <laughs> it's, well, yeah, that's the thing. The holidays this this upcoming year is gonna be a lot different than years past. Yeah, yes. that's for sure. But uh, yeah, what, no, definitely what, the packed malls. I think are are gonna be a thing of the past. Yeah, for now. So? Uh, to say to say a few, I, yeah. I don't. Know. I don't. I disagree. I think was it Black Friday? I think people were in, in there, even though the uh, twenty four hours removed from being saying all the things they're thankful for. They're in there trying to g- kill each other over deals. So <laughs> I, I think even with this um, new time, we're, we're getting we're gonna get some uh, some busy malls and busy stores. And it's a t- in, in the economy. We have to. So this is a time to you know still be shopping for for Christmas presents. Yep, Shop local. Bread. Dine local. Be local. Be festive. Yeah, be local. I like um seeing uh just like besides like the lights and everything else. I love seeing like the decorations. The decorations are good. Yeah, like I love seeing the little 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 
clay, not clay, a little plaster things like the lighthouse with the mm-hmm. snowman leg. Little gnomes, you talking yeah, about? Yeah, gnomes. and then you see like all the. Oh, you know what's the best thing? Not to cut you off, but you, the uh, they're like the nutcracker type things. They're wicked tall, and then they yep. have the little squares for each day. Yeah, it's like the numbers, and you just like oh you know the advent I mean? calendar. Advent. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't know the name of it. I got one like for the first time three years ago. Amazing. I just love seeing all the non, you know, luminescent decor. Just all the nutcrackers the trinkets. and the, yeah, the penguins, <laughs> the trinkets, the trinkets bro. and just seeing how festive we all are. You're like, you know, like yeah, see that? I'm hear telling the you, right hearing the there. jingle bells. You know what I mean? I can't wait to personally deck the halls with Bowser Holly. Love the music too. Yeah, that's exactly the point. Because I was going to ask, how do you guys get in the holiday spirit? And James, you you hit the hit the nail just like, like ow! I, right, I, right I, on cr- the head. I crank open um, a nice bottle of bubbly. I um, turn up the volume on Dominic the donkey, and I take my pants off. I go nuts every holiday season. Oh, there you Whoa, go. who is Dominic? The I don't want to know, yeah. honestly. Is that, uh, yeah, yeah. A, we're gonna. We're, we're, I don't know if I'm gonna. You, you <laughs> never heard the song. That's the, literally the best Christmas song. Yeah, leave it to you to not know that Christmas song. I know he is Jewish for everyone out there. So yeah, I thought you named something else, Dominic. Yeah, me too. Honestly, I was gonna say. But um, five o'clock on Magic One Six One Seven. (laughs) (laughs) Honestly, I wouldn't put it past you. Coquito, though, that is probably what gets me in the uh, festive spirit. Definitely, I think the added element of a little rum getting you a little, you know. I tipsy know. Cherry, you know what I'm saying? Dude, I'm telling I got some in the fridge or whatever. You know, that gets you in the spirit. Go gets me in the spirit. The though, Christmas you know? spirits, if you know what I mean. The Christmas <laughs> spirits. Drink responsibly. Exactly. But I think another thing, going off the music thing, um, the whole week before Thanksgiving, yeah. uh, that's when I start playing my Christmas music. I, oh, yeah. Before th- the Thanksgiving meal is even cooked, I'm already like amping it up. Hell yeah. What about you, Shalma? Um, Yeah, man. I think it's the, uh, it's the combination of... The lights, like you said, but more importantly, I think it's just the atmosphere, bro. The music that it sets. When you come into a place, it's cold. Come in, it's nice and warm, bro. Mm. Everybody, mm-hmm. I shouldn't say everybody, but I like to be a little bit more cheery. Yeah, um, start saying hi yeah. to random people. Yeah, happy holiday, happy Merry holiday, Christmas. Yeah, yeah that's whatever. what that's in the song. Say hello to friends you know and everyone yeah. you meet. Everybody, no. that's a donkey song. <laughs> no, that's a. Uh, oh. The, one of the other ones. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to bump that song. <laughs> oh, definitely. Uh, what what gets me in the tradition? Just uh, yeah, just seeing everything and literally. And I know this isn't brought up, but anytime like you just turn on the radio, you just hear, I don't wanna lie oh, for Christmas. Mariah Carey season is upon us. Everyone's Hell favorite, yeah. always number one Someone on the has iTunes to make a chart. Remix. I don't like Mariah Carey always getting the bag. Every Dude, I was just gonna say, you no, know she's just gonna get. She every... must make so. Her and Michael Bublé yeah. are probably, probably obviously yeah. Mariah way more, but I think the two of them are definitely like caking out. We have to, we have to make year. Magic Mike songs or pass Mariah Carey. Yeah. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll put it in the show uh, liner notes for this one. If you guys haven't heard, here comes Magic Mike. Smash hit single. We can last be, year. Uh, when we th- the ending of this video. Maybe you can play us out to that. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. You we'll know what? That. I really did want to do that. I kind of wanted to have Magic Mike, you know, barge in and just start doing that. But he didn't show up one of our most recent episodes, so I'm not entirely sure Canceled. he can make it. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, that's I think what would be one of our traditions at Mass Music Radio. Oh yeah, do you guys have any um, traditions that you guys do for the for the holidays? Um, I think the main one. I mean, I know it's typically like a known as more of like a Jewish thing. My family every year though gets Chinese food on Christmas. Like that's like a known fact mm-hmm. that we'll cook our asses off on um, Thanksgiving. Eve. Oh, not even Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, it's like whatever you offend yeah. yourself. <laughs> but uh, Christmas Day, Chinese food galore. And Hell I think yeah. other than that, we don't really have any particular traditions deliver or pick up pick up okay all right you know i'm saying make a whole event what do you guys got one of my personal great traditions is um you know with the holiday season it's a very loving time and it kind of gives you an excuse to text uh, a a few past lovers and be like hey thinking about you and (laughs) and kind of using using this season that's upon us to reconnect with 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 um former past loves so I like doing that. I, I always, it, it's genuine. It's yeah. genuine, but it's mm-hmm. also like I'm. Ha- I have a plan, and um, I, I usually that's when I, I strike like a viper around holidays. Oh, man. I think I do the same thing, except instead of with like past lovers, it's with like the most random family members. Like I'll find myself like a little saucy talking to like my cousin who's Ooh. a little older now, Ooh. and I'll just be like, you know what I mean, like catching up like in a ridiculous moment. So I think uh, I agree with that. You know what I mean? Reconnecting. 
In my case, some family members, your case, lovers, but that reconnection is a tradition. Oh, yeah. It's all love all around. I Definitely. Think. One of the things that I tried to start was after Thanksgiving, because Thanksgiving is technically the start mm-hmm. of the holidays, but we it never is. we never include it because it's a November holiday. Yeah. I wanted to start a tradition of after uh, Thanksgiving meal that I spent most of the day cooking. And oh, no, yeah, I oh, I, I cook Hell all yeah. the time. Ever literally, that that's gonna bring up to another tradition I do. But after Thanksgiving dinner, I kind of want to have everyone, you know, break out a mug that they like, mm. and we'll all have a uh, hot chocolate together. And we oh, I thought oh. you said like break a mug. No, 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 not kind of fun though. Not my mugs. I want to I want to incorporate a new tradition Dude. where we break something. If Dude, people, I don't that know sounds about kind that, of fun. Yeah. The way Antonio just said like all have hot chocolate together, and I felt like a flutter in my heart where I was like I'm down like let's do that after this <laughs> like, I'll that bring the mini well, for the record yeah. for yeah. the record i was the only one who did i had my my, my caps mug and for for viewers who remember one of the 2010s you can see all the type of mugs that i have but um i have my cats mug the musical and when hot liquid goes at it the green eyes pop out Ooh, that's wow. fun. and i did with whipped cream and the marshmallows that i didn't use for the butternut squash and i'm having a good old time and i had a cookie and i was wow. the only one doing it so you know, pick up where I left off, everyone. Well, no. let's incorporate that those two traditions right there. The one I just thought of, and, and have that be the mass music tradition where we we all enjoy our hot cocoa with our nice mugs, and then we go outside, and we smash the mug. Oh, in celebration! I hate fun. the fact that I love that idea. I think it's because it'd be like I would. I'd hate losing the mug, but at the same time, that's a part of the tradition. Yeah, it's just something that we have to get used to. So. Yeah, you can gift new mugs every year. Ooh. Wait a second. You think they have mugs at the dollar store? We could Definitely. pull up on them. Definitely. Oh, yeah, of they course they do. I feel like. Of course they do. And one of the other things that I do was, I think this started like in late high school or mid high school or early college. Ever since I was old enough to cook, I was conscripted into the kitchen right after Christmas uh, wow. Christmas morning. Like, oh, wow, well, I got my thing. My dad's like, all right, get in the kitchen. We got to cook. I'm like, all right, I got to cook. I got to clean my hands and do the turkey and all that. But, you know, it's something I love doing. That's amazing. Brings the family together. Nothing like cooking. It is. Shlomo, do you have any good... Uh, Hanukkah traditions that you'd like to share with all the other uh, let's Jews see. and Gentiles of the world? Well, I usually just celebrate with my mom and my brother, whoever's at the house. Um, back in the Hanukkah. day, it would be like, you get presents, and obviously there's eight nights. So my mom would do like a scratch ticket every night, and then like the last night you get like a big present. Mm-hmm. Um, usually pretty lit. That's not No awesome. pun intended. Eight, eight, eight days of presents. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny, one of, the, uh, one of my favorite memories was... When I went to Israel on birthright, it was during Hanukkah, and uh, oh, wow. it was super lit. We got to like go to down to the hotel, and um, yeah, it's just a beautiful time. It's like a time to reflect on everything. It proves my point you know? again. How crazy was it when you were celebrating Hanukkah, a holiday that usually takes place in the winter in Israel, a place that's usually pretty hot? It was great. Okay. It was absolutely great. <laughs> say, I like as slow someone who's, yo, as someone who's <laughs> from Boston, anytime I'm you know in a warm location. When I should be freezing my butt off, I'm just thankful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 100%. No, I respect that. Score one for the hot Christmas, hot holidays, people. Hot holidays. Uh-huh. You know what, you know what I'm piggybacking saying? Piggybacking off what Slow Mo uh, just mentioned and thinking back on some of our favorite holiday memories of all time, I always think back to this one night. So, speaking of the Christmas lights, my family would go around and we'd drive around to different places. And remember this one instance, we went to Jamaica Plain mm. to go see this wicked big house. I mean, if people that are familiar with the Jamaica Plain area, there's like this castle looking house right near the pond. Amazing. And this guy would like have like the illest light set up of all time. So every year we go out and we would just drive out. You know, there'd be other people there. Everyone's looking at the lights. Grand old time. But this year was different because we left. And I vividly remember before we left, there were no fucking presents, right? Oh. Boom. We pu- pull up to the, the house. We come back. I walk into the house and all the presents are under the tree. Oh, really? And I Slick. Would, and That's I remarkable. I think I was like. 10 so you're getting to that age where you're like not really believing santa claus anymore you need you're, a lo- you're losing faith and it you was a miracle. miracle where i was like what the fuck and i swear <laughs> to god i didn't know what had happened my entire life until this past summer where we were drinking with my grandparents and i was like all right tell me how you pulled it off and i guess they had just had us wait in the car and my grandfather and mother like ran up and put all the presents there before we left or whatever. But I think just the the Christmas miracle that they always talk about in the movies and stuff, experiencing that, something I'll never forget. And well, I hope to provide for family yeah. members of mine in the future. Well, that's what they want you to think. 
I know, that's the thing. But then again, Santa Claus is out there listening to me right now. I hope I'm not getting cold <laughs> from this message. So, you know, if he's out there, fuck it, I'm sorry. We all know Santa Claus is a lefty. He wouldn't give coal. Oh, yeah. He just give the thing you wanted least. Mm-hmm. What was I going to say? Um, one of my, one of the best Christmas that I've ever had was, and this is going to be for our international viewers, a little, little uh, testy, but the Christmas of 2004. Five, I'm pretty sure it was 2005. 2005 or 2004 was the best Christmas of my entire life because I got a the, corn CD. No, even corn. better. I got the what the one of the last models of the Nintendo GameCube, and it was a Pokemon XD Gala Darkness limited edition oh, wow. with two games: Pokemon XD Gala Darkness and The Simpsons Hit and Run. Oh, that's an old game. Let's see. That was one of the best Christmas I ever had. I will say, however, it was really fun. I will say, however, I did not get a memory card <laughs> for oh, Christmas. That's a big fumble. So I had to wait a couple. Was, yeah. I had to wait a couple days to get a, a memory card. Did you have but, a couple days where you just left the GameCube on? <laughs> no, 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 no. Electric no. bill must have been high. No, I've literally, I would play XD Gala Darkness, and in that game, we'll talk. We'll talk about that in a future episode. You get to pick an Eevee, and then like a couple things later, you get to pick which one it evolves into. I had every single Eevee Evolution. I have Vaporeon. Uh, uh, um, Umbreon, Espeon, Flareon, and wow. I, have, I eventually ended up with Jolteon because he's, he's cool. That's a Christmas miracle right there in fire. itself. But I the la- it. but the la- but I think the day after, I think there was that big Indonesian flood or t- oh, wow. tsunami. So Ooh. yeah, that kind of for our international viewers, which we have some. Sorry, yeah, sorry about that. But the day before was great for young <laughs> Tony. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. I mean, That's amazing. James right or, or James or uh, or Bo. Anyone? Anyone have a good? Uh, your fa- your favorite like holiday memories. Hmm. The Israel one was a pretty good one. That was that was yeah. a pretty good one. That kind of yeah, kicked just off. Just being the in Israel was uh was super lit. Mm-hmm. Actually, we flew out the on Christmas Eve, believe it or not, and our flight was supposed to be at like 9 p.m. I get to the airport at like five. They're like, walk up to the spot. They're like, yeah, your flight got delayed till three in the morning. Like, Ugh. come back at midnight. Come back? Well, so it's like, you know, five o'clock in the afternoon. I'm like, bet. My mom picks me back up. She just dropped me off. Swings back around the airport. I go back home. Martin, shout out to Martin. His family across the street was having a party. Amazing. I go over there. I start drinking. I have a great time. They're having like, the, you know, their annual Christmas party. And uh, yeah, I get back to the airport at midnight and... You know, I was feeling real nice and then immediately just walk right up to the line to like customs like for Israel and everything. And it was uh, a lot of questioning, man. It was it was tough. Oh no, they're very strict over there. Yo, they're I didn't, really good at uh, what they do. I wasn't ready. They asked me, Oh, do you know anyone from the Middle East? I was like I'm like, Yeah, yeah I know uh I got a buddy. <laughs> I think he's from like Dubai or, or What's like, his name? His name is uh Abdul. And how do you know him? He went to Point Webster. Like I went to middle school with a kid, great guy. And uh you know, I see him every so often. They're like, does he know where you're on this trip? And I'm like, no, I just know he's bags? from out there. And so they start pressing me. Yeah, they're very, very Three, strict. four people. And I was feeling a little good. So I'm like very confused, but also like nervous. Like, am I not going to be allowed on this trip? But uh, everything, you know, all is well that ends well. That's amazing. That's perfect timing, too. Get, to, get a little saucy before the plane trip, you know? Versace, what about you? you? Go right to oh, bed. Yeah, I'm speaking of getting a little saucy. Like, I, I, it's <laughs> weird, man. I feel like... All my memories of like Christmases when I was a kid, I kind of like maybe because I was so excited, I kind of like blacked out and don't remember <laughs> all of them. But I can think of um, one Christmas memory, and it's kind of a sadder one. But uh, I was living at uh, the Quinn's residence, I think two or three years ago, mm-hmm. and I think on Christmas Eve, uh, Quinn got admitted to the hospital. He had some really, he was on the jewel jewel back then. He had some kind of respiratory issue, and like Uh-oh. it was in, it was in really rough shape. So like obviously we're all very concerned about our buddy. Christmas, it's Christmas Eve, and so then we wake up on Christmas. We're not in the Christmas spirit. We're not celebrating Christmas. It's, it's just me and JQ in the basement. Nice cold winter day. Like, what's what's there to do? Well, we had a about I want to say fifteen nips <laughs> of, of, of Smirnoff, and you know what? We're like Merry Christmas. Started drinking. Out, started drinking at like eleven a.m. and um, yeah. I, and, and I, I remember uh, thinking like shit, man. Like now we need some some food and whatever. So then we made. You know, it was really cold that day. We took the long walk all the way to Dunkin' Donuts, and the only Dunkin' Donuts that was open was the first ever Dunkin' Donuts in, in oh, Quincy. That's a walk. So it was it was a bit of a walk to go all the way down there. I'm, but I remember we had a really fun time, just like laughing. You know, obviously a bit boozed up, and then we ended up uh, going to visit Quinn in the hospital on Christmas, and seeing him hooked up to the machine was surreal. But 
he made through, and um, it was a memorable Christmas for kind of the wrong reasons, but definitely a memory I won't forget. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, at the same time, you know, it's about togetherness, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Long, That's the thing about it. No matter how few the people are around or how many, you know what I'm saying, as long as you have that, that oh, meaningful yeah. connection with someone else, I think that's at the end of the day what the Spirit's all about. Absolutely. I will say, yo, I think this Christmas is going to be super lit. Oh, everybody yeah. like it's been a shitty fucking year for yeah. oh like, yeah and the best part too is, on yo, that. every one of my family every time i come oh scooby you're gonna i, oh, I spoiled you for Sco- christmas dude he's gonna be geeked fuck, up i forgot about that i gotta yeah. add him to my list of christmas my santa claus list fuck and the, the, spoiling the dog is one thing but like one thing with like new parents and parents of like really young children i don't understand spoiling them as much as people they spoil oh. i mean i get to, i get loving but like yo I hate to say this, like if I have a kid ages one through through three or four, I'm not getting you Jack Diddley squat because I've had the know, same exact conversation. I know babies. I've seen. I hang. I hang out with babies sometimes, like my nephews and family members, babes whatever. and babies. Yeah, babies love the towel on the floor. They they'll play with a box if you give them a box. Like right, and they're not gonna remember all this expensive BS that you give them. So you know, I just don't understand kind of. <laughs> spoiling I can see dogs because people love their dogs mm-hmm. but but babies yeah t- take it easy that is so crazy I've always had that so like like when do we start giving like you know the really good gifts because yeah. like you know you give them stuff they need yeah you can give them like a teddy bear and like uh like a cool thing like that I'm, I'm telling you to give, get like longevity I think I gave uh Baby J, shout out to Baby J Seamus' little brother uh happy Mr. birthday Mr. Potato Head and he loved it apparently uh, for those, I'm showing Versace right now. Four year old baby Jay, that entire room of uh, presents is all for just him. Oh, let me see. <laughs> it is like a whole see, four living years room. Old. Four oh, years wow. old. Wow. I mean, obviously the viewers can't really see it, but baby Jay will think, remember that. And it piggybacks also to the next one um, of describe your perfect like Christmas or holiday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think it's exactly that. Having the ability to give my loved ones everything. Yeah. I think that is like. No matter the weather, the lights, the tree, look, you know, as long as I'm with my family and I can give them like the world, that is that's the perfect holiday to me. I will say, and uh, that was that's kind of what we got got from yeah. Baby J last year. I'm Perfect. a little biased, dude. Like I, in years past, I've went out of my way to get like specific, like remember, perfect example. Last year, my brother David, I got him a poster of Jim Sokolov, his idol. <laughs> Oh yeah, I go to sta- Staples. It was I had to get a, it was a whole fiasco. I will say, not to interject, but you are the best gift giver I'd say out of anyone I know. You, you I have, try, yo, you, I try it. to make an effort, right? I know it. what people like, but you know, it's just one of those yeah. things where sometimes it's like I don't feel like I should like wait for this day. I like to just give gifts randomly. If I was like thinking to someone, I'm like, yo, yeah. I think somebody would like this shit. But it is a great time for like specific purposes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's see, uh, a great. My my the, my perfect Christmas would be it would start with Christmas Eve. Everyone comes to my house. I don't want to travel. They come to my <laughs> house, and we all have like a good we have a good spread. And w- what we used to do, you know, when I was a kid, is um we would open the presents from the from the aunts and the uncles. But it would be like every it was either every thirty minutes or every hour. Mm-hmm. And then if you wanted your presents, all the kids they all had to sing for it. So Whoa. we all we all had to pick a song. Work for it, hell sing. yeah, yeah. You know, we'd all be eating, and then near the end of the night, when some of the kids are all tired and they all want to go to bed, a lot of the adults are either by the guitar. My father, one time, he played the guitar. We all were doing Silent Night, Ooh. or someone who knows how to use the piano, and they're like, dun, 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 and we'll all be like, "Here comes Magic Mike! <laughs> Here comes Magic if Mike!" If you and your family sung "Here Comes Magic Mike," I would probably explode. I was gonna say, this sounds like some Whoville type shit over there, yeah. at the Antonio. It, it's I perfect, like and that. then. And then, you know, everyone leaves, get, get out, get out, I want to go to bed. And then you go to bed. I remember when I was a kid, I would always be the first one to wake up for Christmas morning. Oh, me too. Always. I would always, like, run down and be like, oh, my God, yay, amazing. <laughs> and this is legit. One one year, um, this will be, yeah, this is a funny, my, funny memory I had. One time, <laughs> it's so funny, I went down early to see what I got, and I, <laughs> I brought them all up. <laughs> You grabbed I, all your stuff before, like you even opened. It. That's yeah, awesome. I brought them all up back to my room, and when everyone thought went back down, someone thought my parents thought someone broke it and stole my gifts. <laughs> it was you. <laughs> it was me. They go, oh "Where's all the Tony stuff?" They go, "Oh, I brought it all upstairs." Why would you do that? Oh, just so I could look at them. <laughs> Bella, count them up. There's like seven, eight, nine, ten of them. Here we go. 
And to wrap it up, everyone gets presents oh. and we all eat and we have a wonderful time. We have hot hot chocolate afterwards. Oh, yeah. Ooh, hot I'm chocolate steaming. afterwards. That's amazing right there. Oh, I forgot about that. That I was good. It. I know, right? But, uh, yeah, what's the, the next I think thing we were going off was the, the best pre- present, right? Oh, yeah. We have the, the best and, gifts that you've given, ooh. received, and uh, the worst. So let's start with James. James, what was the best gift that you've given and you've received and then the same but the worst? Pass. <laughs> Shlomo. Because you, you're a very generous giver. Yeah. Um, let's see. The best gift that I've ever given on Christmas Day. Um, hard to say. I've given a lot of like a range of things. You know, there's certain gifts that you get a pop, like you get you you know that like when they open it up, they're gonna be like, Oh shit, right? No. I've had many moments like that. Um But in years past, let's see. I gave my Nana an Alexa, and it was the most confused I've ever seen anyone in my life. But once you, know, once you set it up, Alexa, tell me a joke. And then, you know, first joke, rifles off, goes over very well. Um, just seeing my Nana, like, geeking was, like, a hilarious moment. Yeah. Um, the best gift, gift I've ever been given, that's hard to say. Because, like, every year, my mom, like, gets me some ill shit. Yeah. I don't know what it is about moms that have that superpower, you know? Yeah, they they know what you want, even yeah. if you don't know what you want. I probably say like growing up, I got an Xbox 360. Was like I was just gonna say Xbox 360 nuts. was my favorite by far. And, you know, Hell yeah! It was the best gift you've given. Best gift that I've ever given someone, and I've sold people in the past. I've been I'm, I've been a bad gift giver in I'm years horrible. past. You know what I You're mean? Bad? Like I'm horrible. I'm very I, bad. I I'm like the type where it's like here's a Dunkin' Donuts gift card. Get yeah. away from me. You know <laughs> yeah, they I might mean? like this. Yeah, but might. I, I'm trying to. Th- I think uh, last year. I was when I really like balled out for Josh, you know what I mean? Spent mm-hmm. a couple hundred bucks. I'm like, just see, it was like a uh, Ryan. He's like this kid YouTuber. Yeah, like, makes a ton him. of money. Makes a ton of money, but he had all these different toys at Walmart, and so just seeing him like open all of them, and it was like his favorite dude. I They're like, kind of oh, cool. See, this is fucking. This Hell is what yeah. it's all about, right here. I will say, in the last year, last two years, really, um, everybody who is in my circle of, of people I need to give gifts to. They probably saw it coming, and they're going to see it coming. You're going to be getting merch. Like, I just have mad yeah. <laughs> the inventory stacked up. So it's like you might get a new hat or something. And if you're um, not on the team, you can you be. You can also be on the team by buying your relatives and yourself some merchandise. That's Ooh. true. That's that right. is true. Check one, it out. You know, you know what I mean? We've got a variety of things. I personally have what's kind of pretty new. Oh, yeah. The, uh, the T-shirts. That's the long sleeve? The short sleeve. The short sleeve. We, we also got long sleeves. sleeves. Well. Hey, I have you know the OG I mean? version of that. Oops. But uh, yeah, no, it's a beautiful thing. But I think, yeah, probably the uh, worst thing, which I, you know what, it's because I don't like to be like one of those guys where I'm complaining about getting something, yeah. you know what I mean? Or given. But like, if I'm going to just rank them, I'd probably go down to like, you know, the small sh- like socks and stuff like that. Although I still value it. Yeah I, yeah. I still use it a lot. It's like, you know what I mean? When you get it, you're like, I do need this, but. You know, I think when you're growing up, you you kind of overlook those things. Oh, you do like t- toothpaste. It's true. Well, not toothpaste. But you I need it. like floss, like you know, the floss things, it. um, socks, gloves, and stuff like that. Underwear. But now it's like, yo, give it. That's all I need. Yeah, like, give it. <laughs> like yeah. a bar of soap. It's like all the shit that I spend money on mm-hmm. all the time. It's no, like, definitely. And mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. another thing. Going back to like, you know, when you're talking about your mother, I feel like parents they just know how to give you shit like that. Where at first you won't maybe you won't have the biggest wow effect. But that's what you're going to use. That's what you need. Yeah. Everything else. And you don't have to spend your own money on that. So props to those types of gifts. For it's sure. all... I just thought of the, I'm sorry to interrupt. I, I just thought of the worst gift. I got. Right. And like, I guarantee you there's been numerous scenarios, like fellow video game players and like, of sports too. It was like, I would ask for like the newest version of Madden. And instead of the newest version, like my, my mom clueless to what any of the stuff is, would get the last year's version. Which I already have. And of course <laughs> it's, the, it's the older version of the game. But yeah. I obviously didn't want to upset her. No, and of this course wouldn't, not. And this wouldn't just take the L, which is not what you're supposed to. Thank you. You gotta, you know, gotta be, be honest. Clear, but yeah. yeah, just no, just take the L. I have two versions of the same game. <laughs> you flip one of them. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think one of the best Christmas gifts that I got is, um, but one of the best ones I got. It was one of the as a kid that just made me go like, wow, this Christmas magic is really legit. When I was a little kid, this is how old I am. I was looking in the Sears catalog. And I saw Classic. this this bicycle that I really wanted. It had training wheels and everything. It was blue and like lime green and silver. And I'm like, wow, I want this bike. But it was so close to Christmas and I already sent it to my list. I'm like, ah, I'm probably not going to get it. Christmas morning, I go through my gifts. Go through my gifts. It's back when I lived in the condo. And um, they go, I go, oh, that's all my gifts. And they go, my parents go, 
are you sure? I'm like, yeah, it's everything. And then the stocking, I guess they go, well, why don't you go look in the kitchen? And it was the mm. same exact oh, yeah. bike that I wanted. And I was so freaking happy. It was. It really was like it's one of the things that sticks like in my my yeah. mind. Hell yeah! As my, a parent, you got to get that surprise factor. That's, yeah, I was gonna yeah. say my mom troll, always you know, does that. Whenever it's a Christmas where it's like, because I'm usually the type where it's like I don't know what I want, mm-hmm. but in, any any year where I knew what I fucking wanted and it was be like the only thing that I asked for, it'd be the same exact thing. We would open all the presents and it wouldn't be there. And I'm over here like you know what? I'm not gonna be like a bad. You know what I mean? But at the same <laughs> time, like I did only ask. You're for gonna one have thing. that look in your face. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. And then yeah. they're like. Oh, did you get everything you wanted? Like, you know what I mean? And I'm you don't like, want to be like, ah, uh, no. Yeah, you know what I mean? Exactly. And they're like, oh, what's that over there? And I'm like, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? I love it. Because I'm going to do the same exact thing one day. But Me it's too. also like so painstaking. It's like, why well, I got to drag yeah. it out, you know? Definitely. But, I definitely, if, hell if you yeah. have kids and like you have, they, oh, they have, have that one certain it. item they want, you have to troll them. I you also can't to. wait. You I can't wait to, to. Do, do packaging. Um, oh, yeah. pranks I will they want something small like a phone or something I'm gonna get a giant box and within that box get a smaller box and a smaller box yeah. and a smaller box and then like go outside g- gag item so they think it is no 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 look inside that there's your gift I would I cannot wait to do stuff like that yeah. awesome. yo Troll I will say them. I've done a very ghetto version of that you guys know those plastic bags like stop and shop bags yeah. yes I have given gifts and in years past, if I didn't ask my mom to wrap something, I just wouldn't wrap it. I would do this. I would take the gift. I'd put it in the bag, right? Then I'd get another bag, put it in there, but like the other way, uh-huh. tie it up. Then I'd do another one, another one, another one, another one, like 10 of them. So by the time you Are get this huge bags? bag. No, they're all stop and shop bags. Oh, okay. No, some of them like, yeah, whatever's in the drawer. Okay, like okay, could be a right. Roxy's bag, whatever, all plastic bags. Sorry, environment. So by the time you open it up, you're, what the hell is this? You, you have to pull this one. It's another bag. Same stuff, but it's cheaper. And it's a lot more condensed. Mm, but I've done that know. a few times. Obviously, now I'm an adult. You know, I was like 16, 17. I'm like, I'm not wrapping shit. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> I like wrapping now. That's a, well, now I like it. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's definitely part fun. of the process. Some of the best gifts that I've given are, I'll go very quick. Uh, last year, I got my mom a nice framed photo of her three kids Ooh, from man. my cousin's wedding. Uh, my I got my dad a bathrobe that he always uses. And when I was Amazing. in college, I took my girlfriend at the time to go see... Rodgers and Hammerstein Cinderella at the Broadway Theater starring True Jackson VP's Kiki Palmer and wow. Real Housewives of Atlanta's NeNe Leakes. It was great. Oh, the bathrobes are a great gift for they like any are. female. Yeah. I'm sure Anybody it's a very knows. nice awesome. picture of you. With my siblings, siblings, yeah. yeah oh, but here like, goes. I'm sorry. I hate to be that guy. Okay. If someone, what, is she going to forget what y'all look like or something? It's no, it's for, her, it's for her office. It's for her children. Mother, they, people love Yo, that shit. That's if what she somebody wanted. framed a picture of Scooby and gave it to me, I would go nuts. I was going to say, if someone framed a picture of the four of us and gave it to me, I'd probably cry. I want everyone to... Yo, no, I well, I know, know what I'm getting you guys now. <laughs> now <laughs> I, would say, I might cry. have to go to the frame. Where the hell do you get frames from? The Framers uh, Market. Get, well, <laughs> <laughs> the Framers Market. I'm about to go and just get pictures of people. That's lit. That's a good idea, definitely. Uh, last Christmas, I threw in some uh, pictures of me and Kristen, and I sent that in her Christmas card, and she and she cried. Oh, that was nice. All right, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, uh, <laughs> one of the worst gifts I've ever given, and then we'll move on. It's a. Uh, I, I was in college. I was in Secret Santa, but one of the person, one of the people, Dan, he was Jewish, and I got him like, well, I don't know what to get him. So I, I got him a gag gift, and I, what? I got a gag <laughs> gift. A uh, it was a Christmas ornament that that we had customized. It says to Dan, my favorite niece, and then I gave it to him. He was like, what the hell is this? Oh, you put it on your tree. I don't celebrate Christmas. Like, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, Uh-oh. here you go. Hey, Bad at gifts. At least you thought about them. I did. But yeah, I saw on the list. We're th- talking now about the present that got away. Oh my god! Yeah. So we were literally just talking about how we don't get the gifts we want, and now let's talk about the gifts that we never got. And uh, one of the gifts that I've always wanted, I had to look it up last night so I didn't forget. Um, one of the gifts I've always wanted that I never got was a Star Wars Lego set. It was the Trade Federation multi-troop transport. It's like this big brown tank that has like a bunch of battle droids in it. I remember for a good like 11 to like 15, mm-hmm. I really, really wanted it. And it's been like on my list every you never got single it? year. And I never got it. I'm like, oh, well, Slow Mo Claus over here is going to make it happen. Whoa! Make it happen you know? I think for me it was probably the Wii. I never got a Wii. 
The we, dude, the Wii sucked. Bro, oh, no, it dodged not. the bullet. The Wii was good because you, you could, you could, changed you everything. could play it at other people's houses without having to go well, buy it. Well, that's what I did. But I'm saying I wanted to play Wii Sports in the crib. But at the same my mom <laughs> didn't, knew. She knew <laughs> that those fucking controllers would fly out of our That's pro- That was <laughs> yeah. the reason she didn't do it. So. I would get bored, though. Like, I remember playing at people's houses and, or my cousin's house. You play for 20 minutes. You're like, all right, like right, I'm done. Yeah, like, I don't know. Maybe that's personal. Out. Yeah. Gift that got away, though, definitely. What about you? you have anything that you never got that you always wanted? That I always wanted? Yeah. Uh, I can't say. My mom would get me, like, you know. Yeah, no, not that's wasn't spoiled, it's hard, but, like, yeah, anything that to... I really, really, really wanted. Mm-hmm. Now, your facts were spoiled. She would hook it up. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm it's continuing it. the tradition. I'm trying to spoil, you know, it's what is it? It's called uh, Pay It Forward. Pay It Forward. Hell yeah. And Starring about. Kevin Spacey. Mm-hmm. Oh, but, so what would you say if you had to? Um, the gift that got away. Let's see. It's gotta be like something. Um, I'm sure there was a a hockey stick or something back in the day. Okay. Yeah, you know. But then again, you, know, you got to. That's the thing. Hockey. Exactly. There's only you harbor over it. But you know, I guess if yeah. I had to name something, you know what I mean? Yeah, the Wii for me, hockey stick for you, Versace. I had what some pretty you? outlandish, um, w- long Christmas <laughs> list in my in my heyday. I can remember. And yeah. my, my, my mentality with that was just to cast a wide net and to see what happens. See what but comes in. I remember. Yeah. I remember topping the list sometimes would be jacuzzi. <laughs> and um, moped, which is like, why would you buy yeah, a moped for a ten-year-old? I asked for a mini bike at one point. Moped, um, fur coat. I remember really want, really want like a fur, like a really real nice fur coat. Never got that. Imagine Versace uh, in middle school pulling up to a point yeah. like, on, a, <laughs> on a moped in a fur coat. Yeah, seriously. I mean, I really, towing his jacuzzi. Yeah, yeah. Just try, I was trying to make it happen. But yeah, once you realize that those things cost a lot of money and, and upkeep and mm-hmm. stuff like that, I never wanted a dog. Never got a dog. So I was sad. Well, now you have Night, access to several. Yeah, yeah, got a dog in my heart. So hell yeah, mm-hmm. it's good. Buy the merch, folks. Hell Buy yeah. our merch. So um, I want to ask everyone. Now we're going to talk more about advice. So I want to ask everyone: uh, What advice do we have for everyone to get through the holidays? <laughs> well, you know, I think this is going to be an interesting holiday, as we saw first through Thanksgiving, you know, <laughs> with uh, social distancing and all that kind of thing. You know what I mean? Um, but I think what I would say. Is whoever's in your immediate household, even if it's not, you know, family, it could be a roommate or whatever. I mean, we were talking about with Versace. It's like, just spend time with someone, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Show someone some good spirit, you know, share a drink with someone, share hot chocolate and smash the mug afterwards. Do something with someone else, even if that's over a Zoom call, even if that's just a right. FaceTime or whatever. I think the day is about talking to your loved ones expressing the love towards your loved ones yeah and at the end of the day i know thanksgiving's supposed to be the thankful holiday but christmas is a day i'm truly truly thankful for that, everything and everyone around me so that's at the end of the day if you're going through it or whatever just remember that someone out there fucking loves you facts even if it's just the mass music boys we yeah. Love your ass, yeah you know what i'm we saying love you but you know just just know that you know what i mean i think that's the best way to get through the holidays that's just a spreading love that's a really good point. I tried to uh, get a cut in, but um, that's a really good point. Like it really like to me, it, it breaks my heart when I see people who like celebrate the holidays like alone mm-hmm. or they don't have anybody or like they well, live this in a year. New it's city. like it's hard. Cause it's well, yeah, now a lot of people are in that right. situation. Yeah, because it's out of their hands. You know? And like I'm going to make this pledge when I have my own like all established. Like I will make sure that no one spends like the holidays alone. They got a they got a place at my table for mm-hmm. for Thanksgiving for Thanksgiving for Christmas for New Year's because like. What if I'm the one who has to celebrate? I don't alone? know, man. There's people like me that kind of maybe would rather be alone for the holiday. Then that's, that's fine. Like, that's and what I you'd respect like. it either way. You but know you're more I mean? than welcome to come when I have my own place. Of course, like, like the movie, the movie Four Christmases is like a really good movie, and I love the first like ten or fifteen minutes of it when it's just um, Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon like. They they would just avoid all the Christmas bullshit and go on vacation during Christmas. Yeah. That to I'm me, I'm kind of down with that. That to me would be like the best Christmas. Imagine just being on an island sipping a mai tai, freaking on a Christmas. That's the thing. You being all hot. Yeah. Like, Even if you're like alone, like you wouldn't care. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that'd be the time where you're just I would, chilling. Yo, I'd be just Facetiming people. Like, oh, yeah. hey, Merry Christmas. Hey, what'd you get? Oh, nice. I'm a. Uh... I'm on the right. beach right now. <laughs> I, got my, I got myself a trip. Right. Yeah, no, that's yeah. a, that, that is good. But at the same time, I think like I'm just used to the New England winter for Christmas. Oh, yep. Me too. I, and I, I like to want see anyone else. people. You know what I mean? I like to physically be there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Which obviously this year is a bit challenging, but you know, gotta do what we can. Hey, this the donkey song. You knew it. I've never heard you this. I just assume you'd be playing it. <laughs> What's it say? Jingly jing? Jingly jing. Yeah, yeah. It's Dominic the donkey. 
I've never heard of that my whole. F- and I'm a, I'm a Christmas person. Well, then why do we know it? I don't know. It's a, why it's, don't we know? It's, it? a, it's the, We're the two most festive here. It's Dominic the Italian Christmas donkey. Maybe because you guys aren't Italian. Oh, maybe because mind, it's a I bit, uh, Filipino. Yeah. <laughs> so is it a really little race? Is it a racist song? Uh, I don't. I I never interpreted it as such. I it's about a donkey. So. I don't know. It's a, is it like a derogatory? It's, like it's safe to say these days everything's racist. So yeah, it's probably a racist. I mean, song. Every, well, we won't get into that. <laughs> 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 it's holiday. I could have a whole three hour special on that. Yeah, but, but um, you guys, any, any any other bits of advice for to get through the holidays? Because I know some people really um, don't like the holidays. Let's see. I just don't like the vibe it gives off. Not me. Love it. Uh, I kind of lean hmm, towards that way. Love it. I like the I, I like Halloween vibes. As yeah. I, as Spooky I said, vibes. Yeah. Halloween. I'd say just uh. You know, uh, this year is tough because it's been tough all around. This is the um, outlier But I think year. I want to piggyback on what Seamus says. Just, like, call someone that you haven't seen or if it's a family member who you, mm-hmm. you might have seen during the holidays, but you just, you know, you, for whatever reason you didn't get to see him. It could be a cousin. It could be whoever. Call him. Check in on him. Uh, make sure they're doing all right. Even if it's a quick five-minute phone call. That's the thing, dude. You never know how much if someone could be in a situation, you know what I'm saying, whatever it is, and you just calling and saying, you know, I was thinking about you, just wanted to wish you a happy holiday. Mm-hmm. Sure. That can change the trajectory of someone's entire day, week, exactly. month, yeah. year even, you know what I mean? So spread love because love will come back at you. Hell anytime. yeah. And another thing, too, is like the holiday is usually the time with, especially family, mm-hmm. when it might be the only time you see some of your relatives the whole year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, they, well, this year it might be tough. So it's like, if you don't get to physically see them, you know, oh, we'll see you next year. It's like, well, that's that may be year the last time you see them. You never know. Yeah. So it's like, I'd say just hit them up, call up your fam, do the right thing. Do the right thing. And because um, I know we were just talking about this before we move on. What is some good advice on giving gifts? Ooh. Because, you know, someone who uh, who's openly bad at giving gifts uh, I need I need some advice, guys. Hmm. I and I have some advice to give as well. I feel like so. Shlomo is probably the number one person to answer. Yeah, I, this I question. have I have nothing on this. So I'm you terrible. Know, I, 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 you're I, lucky. You're lucky to get a gift from me. Yeah, honestly, that's always <laughs> been in years past. I think if anything, I've picked up. It's just you know, try and think of the person and what makes them laugh, what makes them smile, and yep. and go from there. But what would you say, Shlomo? Yeah, uh, usually in the weeks leading up, you try to like you know if you're spending time with them or you're on the phone, try to gauge like. Always have them in the back of your head, like, what am I going to get this person? And then there's things that you should not get people, depending on who it is, right? So if it's, like, a coworker or some shit, yeah, you can get them a gift card or something. But in years past, it's, like, depending on the gift card, for example, my brother David, if I got him a Tasty Burger gift card, he would lose his shit because that's his favorite establishment. <laughs> but it's, like, I, I think that, you know, if you get a few small things, you don't have to spend a million dollars, but, like, even a few small things nice that, though. like, you know, twenty dollars Tasty Burger. Um, you know, a funny hat, like just a few things. And I think honestly, this year I'm gonna incorporate what you said. I'm gonna cool. start printing out funny pictures, bro. Because oh. nowadays with cell phones, you know, in my camera roll I have a thousand pictures, but Thousands. it's like it's different than having like a physical like photo. Photo. Yeah. I mean, if you look like on the wall behind Antonio, like our Polaroid pictures, that like it's meaningful. Like that picture, they might hold on to for ever, forever, right? You lose phones and shit. So think about when someone's 50 years old, the gift you gave them in 2020, the little picture of you and them or whoever, your family, like they'll still hold on to that. Mm -hmm. I think the only advice that I can give is uh, sometimes people will be very blunt and they tell you, oh, I would really like this. Man, I really want the saga compendium for Christmas. They go make a mental note like, oh, I got to go get that. My other piece of advice is uh, listen up because we are bringing back our good friend, Keep or kick. Keep or kick. So, uh, keep or kick. Um, this list is compiled by cheapism.com. And it is one, <laughs> I think it was an article about the worst gifts to give to somebody. All so, right. I'm, we're going to go through these items. And let me just uh, make, a, make a note for everyone listening. Just because we like something does not give, a, give you consent to give us that for, for you know, for holidays. Just because we like it doesn't mean we want it. So we have number one. Yep. The scented candle. Keep. Keep. And it's funny. I was going to say that um, as, as um, you guys are looking for advice on, on gifts. Um, and ha- again, you mentioned like some people don't have a million dollars. That's where I find myself most holidays. I'm like, shit, I'm broke. I can't get anyone anything. My friend Stacy came up on, I think, Yankee Candle was doing $10 candles. She said, she said she bought 15 candles. She's like, Merry Christmas to everyone. 
That's a and good I, idea. And so keep candles, absolutely. Absolutely, keep. I would keep them. I don't, yo, side on candles, I don't know where it was done, but when I first started dog walking last year, one of my first days, Aaron, who owns the company, he gave me these candles, and on the candle was a picture of the dog. Like if someone, oh, wow. like, if, like, you know, for Scooby, whatever. But I thought it was just generic, like, from Boston's Best Dog Walkers, here you go. I didn't know that each candle had the actual specific dog. So, mm-hmm. like, I'd be doing my route. I go, oh, here's one, here's one, here's one. Because it was a candle, bottle of wine, and something else. Yeah. And then he hits me up. He's like, dude, like, you gave the wrong candles to the wrong people. Oh. So, but yeah, I'm pretty sure maybe it's yankeecandle.com or something. But you can personalize candles. So, mm-hmm. keep that in mind. I will say I will keep them, but I think a scented candle is a supplementary item. I think a lot of like these an, are like supplementary. Like an in addition? It's like okay. an in addition with this. Like, oh, Antonio, Merry Christmas, I got you. So the nope. Saga Compendium yeah, and a saga. candle. No, nope. Really? That's candle's the, that's enough the, for me. That could be the main if event. If I change the sense of your entire room <laughs> yeah. without me being there, I mean, like, uh, it's a gift. Also, though, it's kind of subjective. Like, the other day I was saying, oh, when we send out merch, let's, like, spray some cologne on it and make it smell nice. Chris brought up a good point. He's like, what if, like, not everybody thinks something uh, smells yeah. the same. So, like, you might get someone a candle, and it may not be the one they want. But I will agree with you. It could be a main eventer, depending on the size of the candle. Yeah. You know, if you get them one of the big Yankee candles, like, right. you've been to the store, you know those things. Even TJ Maxx, those things are a uh, pretty penny. So, I agree. Candles, keep. What's next? Let's see. We got <laughs> the coffee mug. Keep. Keep and smash. If it's a really nice coffee mug that I want, I'll keep. But if it's just like one, like, hey, here you go. I'll keep them all. I'll probably kick it, but it just depends. Mm. Avid coffee, real coffee drinker. Hashtag real coffee drinker. Uh, I keep every mug. What about you, Shlomo? Um, you got some I mugs I keep them. Here. Depending on, I mean, if it's just a generic mug or if it was something funny, hell yeah. If we had a dog on it, hell yeah. Um, yeah, mugs, keep them. Next. Keep them. Let's see. We got socks. Keep. Keep. I'll keep. keep. I'll, yeah, I'll keep. But Across I'll, the board, keep. Let's see. We also have, this won't really apply to a lot of us. We have number four, cosmetics. Keep. keep. Absolutely. If I needed cosmetics, I would keep it. But as a Even man, if I don't, about, I don't really I need will it. need it. Like, you know. Like what? Yeah. Like, uh, you know, moisturizer for your skin, maybe. Maybe a little acne cream. Maybe. Oh, I'm stuff. thinking like lipstick and like Acne eye cream, stuff. definitely. What about uh, like oh. toothpaste and stuff like that? That cosmetics? That's like dental stuff. That's hygienics, right? Hygienics. Yeah, I was going to say, cosmetics, cosmetics is outside. Cosmetics is outside. Yeah, mm-hmm. moisturizer, you know what I mean? Maybe a little, hell yeah, I'm keeping that. Some I, lotion? I, I had to see what it is, but you know, if I get, oh, thank you so I much. Just some using, stuff I really want. Shout out to Natalia. I just started using moisturizer recently, and it's been changing my whole life. If I start looking You're better, glowing, buddy. You look I, I good. Was say, I, I have been glowing lately. So keep. What's next? Number five is a keychain. Keep. De- actually, uh, hold on, hold on. Depends on the size. If it's weighing my keys down because I have a lanyard with my keys on it, if it's it's fucking weighs a lot, I'm good. I'll keep and it. And if it's too bulky, you know what I mean? It doesn't fit in the pocket well. Yeah. I'll set. I'm going to kick it. Because so I just think, because a... like, I'm just going off with the keychains I had in the past. Like, I feel like it shouldn't be like the main thing. Again, it's a supplemental thing. But um, I just think, you know. I will say, a random keychain, kick it. But yeah. if you're getting someone a keychain, it's probably something very specific to that person. Yeah. yeah. I will say the only one that I'm really going to keep is probably a bottle opener. A beer opener, yeah. 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 All right. What so else? We'll see. Keep. We have picture frames. Keep. Keep them 100%. Kick it to the curb. I oh, know bro. what you look like, bro. I already know what you look like. I think it's just... Hey, imagine the being self, so self-absorbed that you get a picture of yourself to someone else. <laughs> what if a picture of yourself and them? Yeah. Yeah, if I got you a picture of you and Wouldn't me in a nice frame... Where am I put the, put, supposed to put that? On, like, the yeah, credenza. Put it in your room. I don't and know I have a lady room. over there. Like, who is this? <laughs> your friend. And I know what she's going to say. You have a picture wow. of you and your friend? Yeah, I don't know. She's I mean, going to understand that you have healthy she's relationships. She's going to say, who's your friend? Who's I think it's a, hand, I think it's a very lazy gift. All right. Kick it. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it, too. <laughs> okay, so, that's so funny. Number seven, holiday sweaters. Uh, keep. Keep. Well, you know, I, I, I would have been inclined to keep, but you keep doing this thing where you shake your, I, you shake your money maker, and it's making me uncomfortable. These I love it. These aren't the money <laughs> makers. Amazing. This is the money maker. Mm-hmm. Exactly. What's the money maker? Right? This, this, this is the, the money, maker. money maker. My only thing is, as a, a large individual, my only thing with clothes, I feel like a lot of the times Whoa, when I get shit this. on fucking Christmas, it's just like too tight. Nothing fits. Or too yeah. small. You know what I mean? It doesn't really fit right. So right. that's the that's the only thing about clothes. I'm a little iffy on clothes on Christmas. I think my mom. 
probably the only one that really knows you, what yeah. the deal is and gets me like the right fitting stuff. But like everyone else, it's kind of like fifty fifty. And yeah. it's like, oh yeah, you go, you can go return it. It's all oh, great. I gotta go to the, the yeah, store yeah. where everyone's gonna be returning <laughs> yeah, stuff, you know, and I get to be, yeah. be, be miserable it's in line. Got pain, you know, but. Yes. I'm keeping the sweater. At the end of the day. I'll, I'll, I'll regift it to someone else. I'll keep it, but it's not the it's not the main attraction. Just it's saying. Not. You guys oh, be regifting stuff a lot. I've, well, I not a lot. Not a lot. I, don't. I have regifted not regifted uh, clothes though. Like, I have. Fit me. Yeah. I'm like, this doesn't fit. I've like, done oh, that to Gianni a lot, where I just hand me downs, but you wrap it up and make it look nice. <laughs> yep. That's all I gotta go. So I think the only time I really regifted something, um, it was I got in a Yankee swap. It was a hat, LL Bean hat, just like Seamus is wearing, like one of those type joints. But it was cool. It had a light oh, on the top of the brim. The blunt rolling hat. That's yes. Sick. And then it had, but it had a light on the top, and then it had a light on the inside of the brim. Yeah. So when you look, yeah, it had a light, like a little LED light, and then the side, you just press yep. the button. The button would be like the outside light, and you press the button again. It would be like the, the light that would be in the inside looking down. So like like Seamus said, if yeah. you're rolling up in the dark. Oh my god! I remember seeing that freshman year when he, he pulled it off for the first time. This dude would just. Just start twisting up, and I was with like, the, wow. With the hat on. So, with like, yeah, I light. did use it for a little while. And then uh, when I moved to California, I, I had the hat with me. And uh, my cousin, every night, we'd go out to, like, the backyard, let the dogs do their business. It'd be dark out there. So one day, I went upstairs. I grabbed my hat and, like, gave her. I'm like, hey, like, try this. And she put it on, had the light on. And if you press it the third time, it was the, the downward and the outward. So yeah. it, was, it was super bright. It was fire. How to how to regift? It. I had to regift it. I mean, and she used it way more than I did. That's the thing. That's a good regift right there. You know, it serves its purpose. Hell but uh, so, what's next after uh, the sweaters? <laughs> it's uh, number ten is gifts containing the phrase "world's greatest." Like you know, the Michael Scott, like "world's greatest uh, boss" or "world's greatest dad" or "world's love greatest it. neighbor." Love I'll, it. I'll, mm-hmm. I'll keep it because it, it does show a sign of high respect. That whoever gave that to you. Believes you're the world's greatest at whatever it is. So it depends on to, what it says. So I mean, even if it's something bad, I'm still the greatest at it. So it's like right. I'll take it. I just like to envision that, like you, you give, uh, like a, a grandfather or a dad, like the world's greatest grandfather, world's greatest dad, like whatever, and like they wear it to work, and they see another dad or grandfather, yeah. and they start arguing about who actually, who actually is the greatest. Is the best. Like, yeah. I just like envision that scenario happening. But yeah, I, I like it. I think it's. I think it's. It's because it's hard to shop for some some older people, yeah. you know, and it's these world's greatest, I'm, whatever. So. I think going off that too, it's better. The more random it is, the better. I remember a big thing at UMass that people would do is get like UMass grandpa, and it'd be like a student that would just be rocking it. So like, <laughs> in that context, it's that like, shit's mad. Funny. It's pretty hilarious. Yeah. You know what I mean? So anyone out there wants to give me world's best granddad? Oh, I would I rock would, the <laughs> heck out of a world's would, greatest grandma sweater. That'd exactly, a grandma. <laughs> you guys or, know me. My grandmother. Who t- towards the end niece. of her life she was kind of just confined to the house, mm-hmm. and so I remember go walking around. There was like a just you know this sweater laying on the side. I I was cold. I put it on. It was like a zip up, nice one. Oh, I remember it just that. said number one grandma, and I ended up going. She's like, oh you you can have that sweater. I was like, really? She's like, yeah, go ahead. And I would rock it randomly, and people you know always got compliments. I love that. It was, <laughs> it was, a, it was a real great sweater. So thumbs up on world's greatest. I give yeah. it a keep if it, if it, if they didn't put anything like nasty on there. Yes. So we got number eleven. Nothing nasty. No, like like world's greatest oh, piece of shit, like something like that. Yeah. <laughs> that's greatest. That's a, that's a great shit. gift to give to Trump. <laughs> oh. oh, contemporary. Let's see. <laughs> we got number eleven. Yeah, a pet. Ah, uh, the thing is, I what? like pets, obviously, but. You're basically that's like handing Homework. me a light bill on on <laughs> Christmas. Like here's something you are going to have to spend a lot of money on. And you know if I make that decision for myself, word. But you know if you're making that decision for me, I'm kind of like. Here's eh, the thing. I think eh. it depends on the pet. If you, you buy you, someone yeah. a dog, it's like say. what the hell. And that's what they want. But then, still, yeah. that's a lot of upkeep. My life changes after that. Point. Yeah. How much are goldfish? Oh, uh, they roughly. They, 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 they can be nickels. We they can't can treat nickels. them as uh, we can't treat them as if they're disposable. You know what I mean? It's still a Give me a short answer, please. How much are goldfish? They're not I've as seen, much as silverfish. Like I've seen them bucks. as low as five cents. Five cents, I agree. Five cents, but they're for they're to be eaten though, by other bigger fish. A pet goldfish. Uh less than ten bucks. I might get everyone goldfish. Oh, great for Christmas. Are, like, are like we gonna a, get a tank? Or are you just gonna give us to it? Give them a fish in a bag. There you go. No, Thanks. So I, I'm kind of I'm I, I'm leaning more towards kick on on pets. Keep if it's a like if, like if I get like a, oh Antonio I got you a little parakeet I don't want a parakeet what the hell am I supposed to do with it I'm gonna have to kick it but if it's not, fried up if it's oh god, oh god. if it's another <laughs> if it's another sharpay like oh 
Yeah, you put anything in the air fryer, it's smacking. I love a good air fryer. Yeah. Not, 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 not a parakeet, though. <laughs> What's after Thanks. that? Number 12 is exercise equipment. Keep, 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 keep. Because right now, we're living in an age of the home gym right now, and home equipment has skyrocketed, bro. Mm -hmm. It's like $2. No, it's like 5 bucks a pound, or... I don't know the fucking math, actually. It's expensive, though, to get dumbbells, free weights, okay. the benches. All that shit is fucking expensive as hell. Yep. Well. Especially if you get them new. During pandemic, the height of it, you know. We're in the height of it. Well, no, no, no. B -b -b before, <laughs> right? When the home gym became super important, all the weights and everything were gone. You couldn't mm -hmm. buy them. And I made out like a band. I had one that I didn't really use. And uh, I sold it, made a fucking profit. But if someone was giving you that for Christmas, oh, if someone gave it to if, me, yeah, keeping or kicking, I'm keeping. Um, depending on who gave it to me. What do you mean? Like, in what if they were like, hey, Gianni gave it? Here's to a you. couple. Here's a twenty pound weight. You, you really need? Oh, it. I'd yeah. be like, yo, I was gonna say I that's soft. exactly that's like, a good right, point because he was like, lot. what if Gianni gave it to you? And if my brother personally gave me weights, I probably would be upset. <laughs> Because yeah. I'd be like, what are you, what's, like, what are you yeah, saying? What are you insinuating? <laughs> but if my mom was like, hey, I know you, you said you wanted to like do workouts. You don't want to go to the gym because yeah. people, whatever. Here you go. I'd be like, that's oh, that's good, very yeah, thoughtful. Yeah, yeah. That's one of the things. Like if someone gives it to you like, like oh, here, here Antonio, I got you some two-pound weights. I hope that's not too much for you. Yeah. I'd be pissed off. I, but if, if someone got me a rolling machine, machine I'd be happy I'm just with thinking it. about Gianni's face right now, him handing me two like 20-pound dumbbells. And it, would, it just infuriates me. And then him showing you like, shame. this is how you curl. Yeah, this is how you do elbow swinging too much. I'd be like, bro, that's not so. I keep, but depending on who. With an asterisk, yeah. So, so what's, now, I'm a kick What are you thinking, Versace? You keeping or kicking? I'm going to keep it. I was going to tell the joke of, like, yeah, you can definitely piss off a certain... If you get, like... Because they had those, what, the Peloton bikes uh, a few years ago? Yeah, those I'm, are amazing. I'm, I'm, I, remember, oh, I remember reading about a husband getting a wife that for Christmas, and let's just say that ended in divorce because oh, she, she, didn't and she take, still got the bike she didn't take it so lightly that oh yeah i need to mind the weight. pun you got me exercised for christmas like i wanted a diamond ring i wanted a car wow. you got me a bike because i'm fat well so was it, just, <laughs> was it a peloton yep that's like top of the that's like getting someone a fucking tesla but it's like a yeah. exercise bike yo if anybody out there needs a peloton hit up avion from the across the palm podcast across he works palm. for uh that company really I yeah peloton that. he's like a, he does like sales for them Word. So let us know. Hit us up. We'll, Hit us uh, we'll up. hook you up. Well, I didn't know that. So what's so, next? So yeah, number 13, a calendar. Keep. Kick. Keep. I'm actually going to make Scooby calendars if anybody wants I one. do. But Keep. I think uh, I personally never really buy a calendar. I feel like any calendar I, I've ever had has always been gifted to me. Exactly. And yeah. it helps sort my life out, you know, so I'll always keep that. Yeah. I don't want it as a Keep. gift, though. I don't think it's like the man tries in Tony. I got to do this, like, calendar from, like... It depends on who. Store. If it's someone that, like, never gets me anything and they just sold me a calendar, I'd be very... I'd be like, wow, this is amazing. But if it was, like, a stock. I was type geeked thing, up last year. I think it was my Nana bought me... I think you can see it right... Oh, the, the, the golden calendar? Yeah, you can't oh, see the picture, but it's a, it's a bunch of golden retrievers. This one right here. I love it, yeah. But if it's a calendar of keep, like cool keep, photos, keep, 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 keep. like if we do a mass music radio a sexy calendar, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine that. All right, we got number 14. I think it's very open. Mm -hmm. Knickknacks. Knickknacks. What is a knickknack? Like little it's, stuff. It's that you can similar put. to a paddy rack. Trinket? Yeah, trinkets and curios and like like those pumpkins up there that they can't see. I will say that that's some very much uh, like the, the wolf. original Grinch type shit right there where. He's on the mountain. Oh, they're knickknackers and trinkets, and he's <laughs> yeah. very angry. And I've always wondered. I was like, "Wow, those toys look kind of cool." So I'm, I'm in. Give me some knickknacks. I have a lot. I have a lot of knickknacks. I have an egg on a little stand. Oh, the thing a, you flip up and catch it? No, it's 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 a it's just a big heavy thing that my grandma gave me. I have a bust of JFK. I have a geode. I like little little knickknacks. Even like Knick -knack, statues. Patty wag. Give a dog a bone. Yo, I will say one of my favorite gifts when I was younger, it was these metal, it was a knickknack. It was just m two pieces of metal like this, and then it had a hook, like a, a ring like this, mm -hmm. and they were like intertwined, and you had to like like maneuver oh, it mistake, in a certain, yeah. no, you had to maneuver it in a certain way to like undo them. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I probably got a ton of other gifts, but that was the one thing where like, once I did it once, I was like, yo, how the hell... You put it back. Well, no, I, I could get it back, but then I couldn't, like, it was... I spent yeah. hours trying to figure out, like, how to... It's like a brain mm. teaser kind the of thing. One knick I'm ago. against is the uh, the finger thing. Oh, where it's finger Chinese trap. finger trap. Yeah, I don't... That thing, I never... Bring back the slinky. slinky I, I like yeah. slinkies. That's a good one. That's a good one, too. Let's see. We got number 
15, the self-help book. It depends kick. on the context. I'm, I'd say 90% of the, 99% of the time I'm going kick. But if yep. it's someone that I've been speaking heavily with about personal struggles and right, growth, you know what that. I mean? I can tell they're coming from a genuine place because of the discussions we've had in the past. I'll be like, you know what? You were thinking of me and the situation I had. I appreciate that. If it's someone else, though, I might be like, this is a bit intrusive. What Gianni. are you saying? If Gianni was like, how to get your shit together fucking for dummies. Here you go. Yeah. I'd be like, go fuck yourself. Like, I don't know who you think you are. Could be but, a pretty good gag gift. <laughs> yeah, Books are be. always, I think if someone gives you a book. It's like for a very specific reason. Yeah. I always try to like make books are to like are a top it. tier are a top tier gift for sure. Yeah, because there's a lot of stuff. That well, I as want. an adult, like as a kid, when you get a book, oh, you're like, you're like, fuck <laughs> yeah. this. But now you're it's like, like wow, they're they're giving me some knowledge. Yeah, oh, I will yeah. say, like, anytime like, I get a self help book, like I, I would rather just talk to you for two hours than ha- just read <laughs> this book for not even finish this book for four years. Yeah. <laughs> like your money would be best invested to just listen to my problems for a good two hours or at least paying for like a half hour of therapy yeah mm-hmm. don't give me a freaking self-help book kick right. it. we'll kick them what else number 16 a dvd or a cd depends and, uh, on what it is it depends on what it depends. is but i feel like it's something you want this category we'd have to put vinyl records there too right Keep and i them. think vinyls no matter what the vinyl is i'm ke- i have like the um some random play vinyl i forget what it was the sound of music yeah, i have wow. that vinyl at my house so, so it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter what it is i'll keep it dvds and cds though uh it depends on what it is so yeah of, saying, of course you're not gonna get someone from random like yeah. you're gonna know it depends i think though. of course like gianni it. got me the all, every season of dave Chappelle on dvd last year that's and lit. i was like that's that's fantastic gotcha bitch yep exactly <laughs> what about you guys you guys keeping or kicking keep, if it's what i want them. i'll keep them it could be a re-gift, though. If it's like some, some crappy movie from like 2008. Yeah, make sure it's, uh, it's wrapped, you know what I mean? Then you'll know. I think, yeah. I think even for our, um, Antonio, our, in, our morning announcements um, broadcasting class, I think we did... Uh, we did Secret Santa. Secret Santa. I yeah. gave, um, I think, Fitzy. Or is, it, or is it Mandy? I gave him Nickelback CD. That's good. <laughs> that, was, that was one of my, one of my best gifts gift. I gave. Mandy Flores got me a good gift. She gave me a, uh, a Michonne bobblehead from The Walking Dead and a Tooth Tunes with a Lady Gaga song on it. Wow. Amazing. I, got, so I, made, I made out good. Like what's a the next one on here that we're keeping or kicking? Number 17, Quiche. Cash. Cash is king. Keef? Cash. Cash. Is oh, king. I said Quiche. Oh, both. Keef. Both. Yeah, so fine. Imagine someone pulled up on you on Christmas <laughs> with their grinder Dog. and said, like, take all the Keef. <laughs> Dog. That's, I, that might be better than Cash. I would cry. <laughs> yeah. I will say, I'd cry. Uh, one year, I did not know what to get my sister, and I will admit I gave her about like probably like three grands of key. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you yo, she was probably was, so happy. Yo, you just unlocked a weird memory, bro. I remember because I had in this little like I don't know if you ever seen it's like an egg and it has like the little like three legs and then like pops open. I think you put. I remember you would just have something. like jars and treasures that it was just all key. I remember yeah. that. I don't know. I was smoking a lot of weed, but anyway. Cash. I remember yeah. that was one of those pop moments where, like, I couldn't give it in front of everyone, right? Yeah. Well, I could have, but, you know, whatever. Yeah. I don't want to do it in front of my mom. And, she, you know, I got her a little something and, like, just to open it. And then, like, I went, you know, went to her. I'm like, yo, hey, like, by the way, <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> and that was one of those moments where, Very like, Christmas. you see someone, like. Yeah, yeah, yo, I'm thinking about it, it right like, now. Like, is this what I think it is? And yeah. it's like, yo. Shout yeah. out to you. That's a good one. But so going, going back, back to, to cash. Bo, going just, back to cash. Jespo just, just was like that little kid in Nintendo 64. Yeah. <laughs> it was. So it was. all the keys. But cash, that cash is king. I traditionally, I don't like to be an asshole and tell my people, like, give me some cash. You know what I mean? Because they're like, oh, what are you going to use that for? Yeah. Blah, yeah. Blah, blah. Like, I think that's the best thing. I'll spend it how I want. I'll save it how I want. Right. Let me be in charge of my own destiny, I'd like to say. So keep Keep, keep. The only I, time I've given cash, I think it was your birth, one of yours birthdays. Your, when somebody turned twenty two, was mine, and I got you like either, I think it was twenty two two dollar bills or something like that. I think are uh, you definitely getting mad ones at one point? No, I got somebody twenty two twos, kind of like a Jay Z uh, reference or something. Twenty two. Like two dollar bills. Yeah, I was at the Quincy Credit Union. Like, How the hell are you and, gonna uh, find those? There's only like four yeah. Of them. I look. I was getting doing something, and the guy was back there. Counting up two, I'm like, I yo. That period of time we had it. I'm like, yo, we're, how bills. many of those you got? He's like, oh, like fifty bucks worth. I'm like, give him. Like, let me get those. So, uh, all mm-hmm. right. I remember growing up, I'd I'd get a lot of cash from family members, but well, once it was discovered that James developed a, a pot habit, it's like no more. 
gift cards. <laughs> you can't buy a pile of gift cards. That's the thing about the gift card. I love it, but it's it's uh, a little bit limiting. Yes. But, you know, it is what it is. I used to feel about keep, that way about keep. the, the like, pre, prepaid Yeah, cards. the vanilla cards. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Green dot. Hmm. All them joints. Free advertising. I, will say, cash, I, I, try, I try not to give cash, but uh, I would be, because I want to give them something that they, you know, that they want. But if they want cash, you know, I'll give them some. So we got number 18. <laughs> Anything to do with dieting? Uh, depends. Um, I think if it's like. Kick. I mean, it depends on like what we mean by dieting. Like if it's like just like workout supplement type stuff, any like you know protein and like yeah. pre workout that that's, type of stuff. That's vitamins. Stuff expensive. Though. It is expensive. Yeah. I remember my birthday last year. I was like, let me just get like protein. You know what I mean? Right. Workout, but what so. if Gianni gave you a cookbook of a uh, cook this not that, and he gave that I shit eating fa- shit eating face? Mm. I'm just throwing it out. Kick that. Kick that. Depends on what it is. I'm kicking it, too. Kick it. I Next. got it covered. Dieting. Di- yeah, whatever. So <laughs> let's see. We have number 19, cleaning supplies. Keep. Kick. Uh, keep absolutely. Unless it's the sham wow. Then mm-hmm. I will keep it. I'm keeping it because then I don't have to go buy it. You know, yeah. So. Facts. I, you, I, I, I'm stuck on this because it's like it's so hard to shop for like like mothers sometimes. It's like, oh, what, what are your hobbies? Like, well, I, I clean the house a lot. Like, oh, well, I guess, yeah, it makes sense to get him some cleaning supplies. Well, if you get him, like, a nice Swiffer or a nice a... Dyson vacuum or, I don't know, no, I don't well, know. not, not yo, sponsored. That's know. where you, the like I said earlier, you got to, like, weeks leading up, pay attention to what yeah, they're doing. Know. If you see your mom, like, clean and she got a dirty-ass sponge, no, I say like, kick it. Nice I kick it. You can't get cleaning supplies. Get a new sponge. Yeah. Unless they're, like, how you, like, there's how Mandel or, like, someone super into cleaning, like... I just My, don't yo, see how that goes. I think over. if it alleviates the process, like he's saying, like if you see your mother scrubbing with a shitty ass sponge, or if she's like doing the dishes and her gloves are all messed up, yep. it doesn't have to be the main thing. Like you said, it could be supplementary. Right. right, right. But I think, you know, it shows that you're thinking of them. You know yeah. what I mean? They, they paid like, attention. You know That's useful. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's I think true. usefulness is a big component. My nana game. this year actually asked for a quote unquote a dust buster. Oh, they're very the handheld, like one of those yeah. old school. I was like, hell yeah, I got you. So I think we're uh, general keep, except for Versace. He's, uh, he's on the kick mode. So what's unless the ShamWow? Funny we bring up ShamWow. Number twenty is products from infomercials. It Absolutely on- throw away. Kick it. Kick. It really, it really does depend. Yeah, I, I feel like that's the least effort thing. Where you're just like, oh, this thing on TV. You know, like, all right, let me just, you know, if, if I've, I'm ever getting something with on the packaging, it says as seen, seen on, on TV. TV. Yeah, I'm kind of like queasy about it. I'm like, <laughs> I don't want this. I really think unless you know for sure that person wanted it, then like, yeah, you're kind of, like, you're kind of like, what are you yeah. doing? I don't know why. I feel like all the as seen yeah. on TV products, it's like the Illuminati sells them. In well, my eyes, I'm like, I don't like this. There, so two. I got two quick anos about it. The only thing I really want from one of those is like the my pillow. But at this point, yeah, I'm all my, set on the my pillow guy. Yeah, the my pillow guy's a douchebag. He, why um, is he a douchebag? He freed Kyle Rittenhouse. Oh, He's a goon. Anyway, but so I will say there was one item that my bail. mother got me that was on the as seen on TV. I really wanted it. It was this thing where like. You, it was a tray on the top. You pour your, like, coins in there. I right? used to collect, you know, change, whatever. And then it would fall down, and this thing would spin, and it would just, like, put the coins into, like, you know, the rolls of quarters and yeah. nickels and dimes. Yeah. And yeah, it would count it up. So like, you wouldn't yeah. have to, like, go to the stop and shop or bank, uh, mm-hmm. you know, whatever, and do the whole thing there. You could just show up with the things. And uh, it sucked, dude. The thing would get clogged. It broke three times. Oh, like, no. Yeah. And it wouldn't – it was terrible. So – I still have it to this day because of I barely used it. And I, I don't know why. I think it's because of the commercials and all the hype that was around it. But as a kid, I think I was like 14, 15. I have the shake weight. Yeah, the, you I, really? I, I, do. I have the shake weight. I, it's just such a like, – Well, you got, you've been using the other shake weight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. Zinger. Hi-oh. But uh, a shout out to shake weight. I think we'll keep – yeah, I so, think after Kick South Park song. roasted it, I I probably oh. couldn't use that either. Oh, that's a great episode. One of the things I remember that was an infomercial thing that I got was the chocolate fountain, and I was I was so happy to have a chocolate oh, well, fountain. Like with the marshmallow under it. Yeah, it just I it never it never worked for Tony. Like all the chocolate that would come out would be like I, was a, like, say, I feel like it'd be it wouldn't work. Plastic mixed with chocolate, I'm good. Yeah, Kick it far away Kick. from me. It really so, would yeah. depend on what it is. So we got number twenty one candy in um, bulk. Like a big bag of all the big same bag of candy. candy on Christmas that is justified are the Reese's um, trees. 
Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. You know those? That's it. But other than that, I like if you give me a candy on Christmas, I'm kind of like I like the well. lint, L I N D T, like the lint, little like oh, red ones, right? The, Lind- the red ones, yeah. the um, only the red ones. What are the Lindor truffles? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. essentially what they are. Lindor truffles and the as you introduced me to last year, the Ferrero Rochers. Ooh, top, Ferraros. Was, yeah, I was gonna say those are top top titty, but uh, the rest of them keep it away from me unless yep. it's festive. Next, right. let's see. Uh, we have number twenty two. We brought this up earlier. Soap. Keep. Yeah, keep. If it's a really nice, expensive soap, I'll keep it, but, you know, what else you got? You know, so, and I will say, just because I, it's not on the Grand Master list, but a thing I always get every single year for Christmas, even if I don't ask for it, is a cologne set. I don't know if you guys are familiar. Oh, with yeah. It. I, I get you, cologne I sets all the time. Cologne sets. Always a grand, like, exact, my grandmother every single year. You want some cologne? You want some cologne? Like, eh, even not? though I don't really get much good cologne, it's always those... Uh, <laughs> The three in one bod sets. Oh, smell <laughs> like joints. Yeah. Dude, my grandmother, she kind of balls out, I will say. Yeah. I got some Givenchy last year. I've been smelling good, you know what I'm saying? So, soap and colognes, anything to do with good smells? Yeah. Keep. Smelling goods. Keep. Uh, I'd be smelling like really ripped abs. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have number 23 holiday or seasonal themed items. Yes. Like this sweater. I will say one gift that I'm actually. I've, been scheming on for quite a few individuals actually i'm getting them in bulk are the uh, hot chocolate bombs oh yes. yeah uh, i found a, a local plug for those and it's like a big like chocolate ball type of thing and it has um marshmallows and like hot cocoa mix inside of it really and you heat up the milk yeah and pour that on top of it and it melts the chocolate yeah. and the, mushro- uh, the mushrooms oh yeah, the, the, mushrooms. Mar- the marshmallows come out, yeah the marshmallows come out of it and it's real nice so i think uh stuff like that do that after dinner exactly yeah it'd that's be nice smooth. that's smooth. So i think i'm going with a keep hell yeah it depends i'm just gonna say just for good measure kick Let's what's see. next 24 is a new tie or a scarf keep Although I, we talked recently on the morning show, uh, weekdays at 10 a.m., um, we talked about uh, shit like that, scarves. And I, I agreed then. I was like, I'm a too big of a person to be wearing a scarf unless it's practical. So, kick. I'm going to keep. I love a good scarf. But I'm I'm pretty set. I'm really, really happy with my tie collection right now. But if it's a really good tie, one of the ties on my rack will have to be bumped. But, yeah. I'll keep, keep it. Keep. Yeah. Keep it. What's and next? number 25, the final item is a pen. Keep, keep, keep. I love a good pen. I love a good pen too. Like I even have a pen that I used to, that my dad gave me. It's got like a, it's a, I, 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 I'm not gonna talk about where I brought it, but um, you can write with it. You can write with it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you can? No That's way. You, my can, pens have you can alleged, you can allegedly write with it underwater. I don't want to test it though. Wow. It comes with a little thing that like if someone's like you know like making fun of your sister, you can like screw it on. You can just bash them over the head with it. Oh my god! It's got it's a, a little. Too. Yeah projectile it's got a little thing that you can like squeeze like people's like oh. like points not points but like there's parts <laughs> of the body that hurt squeeze. but it makes you like like ow oh, stop pressure it points. that's it pressure i like points, those please. abnormally large pens i think that's <laughs> yeah, a great gift. Yeah, like, like, what am i going to use this for <laughs> yeah. i don't know it's a yeah. large pen every though. christmas season too i remember going back to like middle school and shit and you see the kid checks. with like oh, the giant. big ass eraser or the huge pencils and i would love it it'd be bad call but it'd feel like a dr seuss episode going back to school you're not gonna write with that thing yeah keep all utensils that, to write with, especially especially if it's a nice custom pen and a nice mm. like, Got your name wooden on it, case. Like, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, keep. You know, one of the things I asked for this year was a customized letter opener and a customized uh, seal stamp for Old Tony. That's one of the things that's, that's on my far. list. That's far. Yeah, so, guys, that was type shit. Shlomo, how, What about you? Keep it one hundred percent, man. I, keep I, it. I think around the table, but you don't know how to it. write. <laughs> I'm sorry, you dissed my dumb. Listen, you man. Missed my, you missed, you dissed my All donut, I do donut. is sign checks, my friend. Ooh. I dissed what? His donkey. Pause. I didn't dare. I just had never heard of it. Yeah. Well, but, we know um, what we're doing afterwards. I know, right? We're going to have to play a song. With some hot chocolate. So that was um that was our keep or kick. Uh, let us know what you guys, if you would keep or kick these items. Yes, so we have Let a... us know if you keep or kick us. <laughs> Please don't kick me. <laughs> My confidence can't take it. So <laughs> we have just just two fun questions, but I think they're very they're very full. So, what new holiday tradition should we start? Because we talked about traditions early on, and I hmm. I would talk about one that I tried to start. So I've been thinking a lot about this. I'm kind of thinking of, especially with COVID, you can't go to like people's like parties and all that. I'm kind of thinking, what if there was like a neighborhood? That had like like every single house 
they'll do like a light display every single night of December. Mm-hmm. And then like everyone can be like, oh, who had the best house? Who had the best house? Kind of make it like that. It brings a community together. You know, this will be a post COVID thing and brings competition and it brings, you know, the lights that Seamus likes. I think that's, that's what I'm kind of thinking, you know, make a little yeah. neighborhood competition about it. I like it. I think uh, it's a, Add to the togetherness thing. I think the only tradition, because I didn't really have any previously, but I do like the hot chocolate drinking and smashing of the mug afterwards. Yes. I think if I were to do one, because you don't even have to be with the people. Yeah. You could just do it over Zoom and everyone chugs their hot chocolate and slams it on the floor together. I, that'd be awesome. I, I, I like that one. Have 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 little Jay pick the favorite mug that he likes. <laughs> and, and then a Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, um, what about you guys? Let's see. A tradition I like to see would be like, sort start, of, like a new one. Sort of like caroling, but no, instead of singing all around, I would want like an event. Like set up a stage, get some music going, set up some tables, some booths, give out hot chocolate, maybe with the chocolate bomb things. Uh, just Break a community thing in each neighborhood. Kind of like how they do porch fest in the summer, do like yeah. you know, holiday fest in the winter or something like that. Where yeah. like you go around the neighborhood, different houses have like different setups and good music, good food, good vibes. I'm just thinking, dude, imagine us walking around to different people's homes and it's like you got Gianni there with like a portable <laughs> amplifier and he's just mm-hmm. playing some tunes on the guitar for holiday Deck tunes. I love that. Music always brings people together and... That's the end goal, am I right? Hell yeah. What about you, James? What, what new tradition would you start? Well, it's not much of a new tr- tradition, um, but I think one I've started unintentionally over the past few years is, is getting a little bit wavy on Christmas and having a few <laughs> drinks and just uh, really, really... Texting t- some former flames. Well, yeah, I, I, mean, I mentioned that too. And, uh, but I really think we should um, double down on this smashing of the mug idea. So it's good to let some anger out. I know, I'm, I'm know? honestly down. <laughs> um, one tradition, too, in one of my favorite shows, Always Sunny in Philadelphia, they do uh, growing up, and they even continue to do it as adults, is uh, they go down to like, the train tracks, and they throw rocks at trains. So maybe something like that, too. We just throw rocks at trains. I think that little brain tree. Do, does trains go past there still? Yeah. yeah. The brain tree? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. We'll throw some rocks at trains, fellas. Yeah. Well, definitely. we'll see. I'll be the voice of reason. Maybe not, yeah. but snowballs, maybe. Rocks at trains. Fight. I remember, uh, I forgot who did this, but we used to put rocks in our snowballs. I, for- I didn't do it, but I know oh someone used- Someone told me that story. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> savagery. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, another new tradition I like to start is uh, people listening to this very show. Uh, as we go up for, for the holidays. So mm-hmm. right, right when December 1st goes on, we'll be, hopefully be, you'll be listening to this. So, um, the last fun question before we do our holiday recommendations is, and this is really, this is the kind of the more fun question is, what would your live holiday television special be like? Um, I think piggybacking off of what I saw on Twitter, it would be similar to every single, uh, holiday movie that's on Lifetime where, uh, there'd be like a businesswoman that's very serious, doesn't really celebrate. Much of the Christmas stuff, and then there comes me. Yeah. Like, you know, let's get fucking jolly. You know, and I show her the this beautiful spirit of Christmas. I think that would be my live special. Oh, that'd be good. You know, I'm kind of thinking of uh, there's only there's really one thing that I really want to do. I kind of want to have like a like a like a Christmas variety show. I want to have like celebrities, but they're not too famous, but you're still happy to see them, like Ellie Goulding and like Kathleen to Jimmy and like. Harrison Ford. Yeah, I think Salma Hayek or someone like that. Yeah. Or Cindy Sweeney. That'd definitely be in my future. Get J-Lo up in there, too. Who knows? I, yeah, the, the one thing that I have to do, that's why this ha- it has to be on ABC. I want to do Baby It's Cold Outside with Miss Piggy. But Miss Piggy is singing all like the men parts. And I'm like, I really can't stay. <laughs> Baby, it's cold outside. And she's like, she wouldn't let me leave. Because you know, we all know how Miss Piggy is. Every nightmare in this thing. We all know how Miss Piggy is. It's pretty demonic, Piggy is. demonic, if I would say. <laughs> it, it'd be great. I think it'd be... Be very funny. I thought about, definitely get the ratings out for the network. Exactly. Oh, sure. I also thought of like some like other skits I want to do. I kind of want to do the uh, what's that? What's that one with the ghosts? Uh, the Christmas Carol, but with Walter Hamada, ah. where we just like, where we talk where we haunt Walter Hamada, who's the guy in charge of DC and Warner, and basically we just replace Amber Heard and we give Jason Momoa like uh, Amelia Clark to be in the new Aquaman movie. Just a lot of stuff like that. Come on, ABC. Come on, Disney. <laughs> It'll be a trip. Tremendous holiday special because I have a good Trump skit where he talks about how Melania hates Christmas, but no, she really just hates him. That's awful. <laughs> I think it'd be a good idea. What would your special be like? Holidays, I think just like me, but in Die Hard. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, as as the as a main character or like as Hans as Gruber? as uh, John, I forget what his last name. Br- Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. Bruce yeah. Willis. 
Good enough. Roadshow. But with a lot nicer hair, obviously. Ooh. And how would the Shlomo Hanukkah special go? Uh, it would be, you start off with a dark room, one spotlight, it would just be Adam Sandler on the guitar. Paul Live Daniel rendition. Yamaka, Live rendition of that, Paul right? Hanukkah. And then as soon as the song fades out, goes back to black, spotlight goes off to the side of the curtain, Michael Buble enters the room, and he just starts going in. And yeah, just let him rip. Um, let him yeah, rip. It would mainly just be, you know, a celebration, very music-centric. Uh, and then I would pull an Oprah Winfrey and just be like, all right, everyone in the studio audience, you get a hoodie, you get a hoodie, you get it. I would just start throwing merch. But the kicker is it's during, still during COVID and there's no one there. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'd, I'd throw an empty crowd. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't it be I amazing like it. to hear a uh, sleigh ride with Antonio Rockwell and Harrison Ford? Come on, Harrison. Lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. Get off of me. <laughs> Something like Get that. Get off of me. So um, before we go, as we always do for MMR Talks, let's give our recommendations. But we got some holiday recommendations. Mm-hmm. So who would like to start? I would love to. Okay. So first off, if uh, any of you are out there, find someone that can make you the hot chocolate bombs and give them to someone that you love. Because, I mean, who doesn't like hot chocolate and marshmallows? And if you're going to educate a family, a friend, a boo, a baby mama, whoever it is out there, purchase them race music, black cultures from bebop to hip hop, which explains the history of how the music industry, not the music industry, just music as we know it, is directly related to race and specifically black culture. So hmm. I think uh, getting your people a little educated during the holidays is always a good gift to give. Definitely. I will cycle through. I'll do like a speed run of all my favorite holiday specials, and then I'll talk about my 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 one that I want to recommend. So Bob's Burgers, Christmas in the Car, The Simpsons, Miracle on Evergreen Terrace, Family Guy, Road to the North Pole, Futurama, Xmas Story, South Park, Woodland Critter Christmas. And that's the, the worst episode ever. Are I you have kidding? nightmares from a really? kid watching that episode. Oh. Is that well. the one with all the little cute things like tear each other apart and our demons? Hail Satan. No. <laughs> Do not watch that episode. <laughs> it's, it's It was either going to be Woodland Quarter Christmas or Christmas in Canada, and I watched them both back to back, and no, Woodland Quarter Christmas oh. was the superior one. Oh. Now, for the kids and the families, SpongeBob SquarePants, Christmas Who, mm-hmm. Winnie the Pooh, and Christmas Too, mm-hmm. Fairly Odd Parents, Christmas Every Day, mm-hmm. Ed and Eddie, Jingle Jingle Jangle. Now, for movies, my, one of my favorites is Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Amazing. Classic. And uh, the one I'm going to recommend going to depth is, uh, and I, I talked about this movie very briefly throughout the series, it's called Anna and the Apocalypse. It is a zombie Christmas musical that takes place in, in I think, in Ireland mm. something. But it's really great. Ireland. It's it's literally like God goes, let's make a movie for Antonio Wakawelli, and they threw this at me, <laughs> and I, I loved it. And it was like there was it was sad. It was it was happy. It was it was it was everything because you know I've been so consumed with The Walking Dead for like, a good part of my life. I forgot how zombie movies can operate, and they really just do. They make it a lot of fun, and I love Man in the Apocalypse. I tried to get my parents to watch it last night, but one, there was a storm and we couldn't stream it, and two, uh, they said it's, they said it was like the dumbest sound of thing, and they did not want to watch it. So I'm like, well, I'm just gonna go to bed. That's any time I suggest the movie Death to Smoochie. Everyone says that's stupid. Boo. That's See? A smoochie. See? Boo. Pro- is Example that, number one. Everyone boo. shits on it. Is that, is that Peter Jackson's movie, or is that Meet the Feebles? Uh, it is Meet the Feebles. But Peter go ahead. Jackson. It's gonna be a no for me, dog. No, I don't know. I've heard about Death to Smoochie, but why don't you you let everyone know what Death to Smoochie is about? I remember hearing about it. No, you know what? It's it's hilarious. I'll leave it at that. Is it a a holiday movie? Robin Williams. Yeah, it could be. You could watch it at the holidays. Is that your recommendation? Is to watch Death to Smoochie this holiday season? All right, so two recommendations. Watch Death to Smoochie and support some local businesses. Like? Shop local. No, obviously, Masters Radio, yeah. But, like... Restaurants buy gift. If you're gonna get gift cards, like gift cards, restaurants, to restaurants. Um, uh, clothing. What's local? We got Carrie Phelan designs. Yeah, we got we got floating surf. Head, floating surf. Go get all your clothes cleaned. Our fabulous laundromats. Even if it's like local within, because we do have an international audience. Um, we do. Wherever it is, support yeah. local businesses. I know it's easy to just go on Amazon and you know you don't have to do anything, but if you go out of your way just to even buy one thing from a local shop. Um, even if it's a trinket, you know, uh, whatever you can do, just, you know, the times are getting tough and, uh, do what you can show your support, show your support. Exactly. And strong James, my recommendation 
as, as, as a kid's movie growing up, I used to watch this Christmas kids movie all the time, and no one, I must, I must be the only person on the face of the earth that's seen this movie. Well, let's see, because we both heard of Dominic the Donkey. Right. So I might know it. So it's produced by Nickelodeon, I think. It's called um, Oliver the Other Reindeer. <gasps> Yeah, <laughs> and it's such a good Christmas movie. Oh, the do- yeah, the dog is voiced by Drew Barrymore, and I remember just. I, I, I'm a dog. It's been a while since I've seen it, but mm. like it was. I just remember watching it so much, and it's such a good Christmas movie. Nope, I'm happy you heard of it. No I one else about the it. Yeah, of the it world. sounds familiar, but I don't know. Every it's, time I bring up someone, they're like, "What?" It's basically a dog gets conscripted to help Santa. He wants to be a reindeer. Like, it's in, I want to be, be a reindeer. It's kind of like you can do anything you want if you just put your mind to it, type deal. So that's all over the other reindeer. Check it out; it's great. Also, another recommendation: um, Across the Pond podcast, produced by Matthews Radio. Fantastic. If you want to get into some hip hop, some drill across the seas, um, Shlomo Boza hosts it with oh, Avion. Oh, oh. Tremendous. Check it out. Bo and the bloke. In the Mass Music Morning Show, too, I feel like that's a... Well, that's a given. That's a given yeah, at this facts. point, you know what I mean? Yeah, you promote everything before it. we go, everyone. You know, weekdays at 10 a.m. on Mass Music Radio. Dot com. Yes, sir. Yeah. Shlomo, James, anything else to promote before uh, we, do, we do our sign-off? Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, Jimmy from the Q. Uh, same thing on Instagram, I believe. Um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Shlomo, just stay blessed. Uh, yeah, promote positivity, love, and uh, support. All around. Mm-hmm. All right. And, of course, um, you can watch MMR Talks streaming on all platforms. Uh, this is our third special. We did Halloween. We did the election. And now we're doing the holidays. And we still have one new episode coming out before 2020, before we do our little our little winter break. So uh, thank you all for coming in and thank talking you. about the holidays. And from all of us at Mass Music Radio, we hope things go right. And from all of us to you, we wish you a good night. Hit it, Magic Mike! Here comes Magic Mike, here comes Magic Mike, right down Hancock Street. Still in as in Anton too. Slow mo, give me the beat. Beers are flowing, hoes are hoeing, all is merry and bright. If you're naughty, come and party, it's magic time tonight.